Some people say they're a spiritual podcast. Some people say they're a holiday podcast. Some people say they're the worst podcast. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. Ah! I am Spencer Cardia. I am Scrooge McDuck. You've been Scrooge McDuck before. You can't be it again. I don't think I was. You weren't? Was what I? am I thinking of? I don't know. I think well, I Scrooge. Might, I think I may be thinking of the Scrooge and then the one time you were Donald Duck. Donald Duck? I don't remember that. You were Huey, Louie, and Gooey. Was I? I don't know. We talked about them at the very I'm going to look back and find out. For everybody. Thank you. And this here is Frank. And as you can see, you look a little crazy, but it's not crazy. It's religious. Because you have been adding a hat to your head. Yes. Every podcast since Lent. Yes. And you are on what? 11? 11. 11. So there's two knit hats hiding eight party hats covered up with one shamrock hat. Yes. Which, where did you get that? Because we weren't wearing that on St. Patrick's Day. I know. I, I just was in Giant and it was um on the clearance bin. <laughs> Heck yeah. I, guess, yeah. I think everyone, we should all unanimously, without telling big corporations, to start, Push back. Cel- start celebrating holidays. Push back the holidays. Four days after. Whatever it is. Yeah. Valentine's Day, 16th. Christmas, 29th. Oh, I love this. And, and secret holiday society. A secret holiday society. And we all get deals. You don't buy things until they're on clearance. I love it. And Frank, in solidarity, threw on two of his own hats. Okay. And um, I because it's on the none. second podcast of the week. That's why. He, that's what he said. So. <laughs> anyway, guys, what's up? Uh, did you check out yesterday's podcast on home? Home. Home. Were you able to check if we did a house podcast before? Because it seemed eerily familiar. I I did uh, I did not. I will check it when I check this Scrooge McDuck situation. Okay. But um, do you ever watch back and you're like. I said a mistake and nobody yeah, knew. Yeah. I, I, I said, um, well, I kept talking about a number one. Yeah. I was calling him a one a, which is the, uh, that highway, highway in Florida. Yeah. Um, another thing we were talking about, um, heaven being a home mm-hmm. and, um, only in my editing did I, f- and I, I, even in the podcast, I said, okay, well, let's talk about is, is like, Oh, heaven's our home. I feel like there's things that are written about this that mm-hmm. I can't, when I was editing the most famous heaven being home, quote comes from our good friend billy graham billy graham and what is the quote i forget it but it's something like um heaven is my home i am just a traveler in the world okay yeah i think that is what it is and um it was like of course of course if only we had known that we could have talked about it but check it out check the podcast out anyway it was twas a good one yeah but that's not that's not about today today's thursday yeah my favorite day of the week and today is even more of my favorite day of the week because it is March 24th. Okay. <clears throat> it's March 24th. Do you know what that means? No. It's a, we talk about holidays on this pod. Some people say they're a spiritual podcast. Some people say they're a holiday podcast. Some people say they're the worst podcast. <laughs> no, they don't. I'll tell you <laughs> but that. we talk about holidays because uh, there's so many. Yeah. And you know what? Every, it's, it's nice. It's weird. It's like um, you'd ask, why do we do that? But why do we do anything? <laughs> another deep question no what i what i mean by that is mm-hmm. um if you look at our one word wednesdays yeah we are just bringing or shedding light on a word uh-huh. and then we're, we're we're finding meaning in it right on our walk through thursdays spoiler alert that might be today <laughs> we pick a bible verse yeah. just one and when we find some meaning in it we give all these things light as if it's their birthday Aww. and so talking about holidays in a way is is giving light to whatever it's right. that, that's the whole point of these national holidays yes are these national holidays not in a sense a one word wednesday every day it is i every- said that yesterday with atheists i said well everyone needs a day and it's like uh sometimes we we get hard on these holidays like why does that need a day it's right. like well why not you know what today is chocolate covered raisins day gross i know <laughs> But some everyone people, needs a day. Some, some people love chocolate covered raisins. And people like, love them. What raisinets? Yeah, I don't. I don't like chocolate. I love raisins. So I don't know why you would. It's a classic movie theater. Yeah, snack. I don't know why you would ruin. I know a, they're already sweet. They're nature's candy. Na- they are. And <laughs> yeah, I don't that's know why the tagline. You, what are you doing? Chocolate covered honey next? Why do you got to put chocolate on everything? Has anyone done that? Like filled? Like no, gush? I'm thinking like you know like um comb? like little square. No, oh comb. No, no, I'm thinking like a square. A square i don't know how you solidify it but then cover it in honey like a little oh i don't want it because 
I don't even like sweets. No, I was thinking honey would be on the inside. That is what I'm saying. So a square of honey. Like, oh, think no. of the shape of like a Three Musketeers. I was thinking of like, you know when things have like soft caramel inside? Yeah. So you'd like bite into it oh. and like there'd be a, a little like dollop of honey. Ugh. And I love honey. Uh, well, I don't like chocolate. So anything you put on chocolate, it's ruined. Not even chocolate covered potato chips? Ew. No. Why would you do that? Is that a thing? Uh, yeah. we. I, you don't remember? We went to the factory tour of... What's up here? Hers? Hers. 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 And they had... His and hers. Chocolate covered potato chips. Well, um... Yeah. It's I'm, not that day. It's... What is... Chocolate covered raisins. Chocolate covered raisins day. <clears throat> I don't want what's it. Uh, what's uh, ants in a log? That's raisins on peanut butter on celery. Okay. I don't care about any of that. I don't. Because okay. it's the greatest holiday second... To Easter and Christmas. Okay. I really love Easter. Remember we used to talk about like what's our favorite holiday? Yeah. I oh, I never give Easter enough credit. Love it. It's not Easter either. It is National Cheese Steak Day. Pause. <laughs> National Cheese Steak Day. We're in the great city of Philadelphia. Yeah. But even, you know what? It doesn't even matter anymore. <laughs> like no oh that's what you meant you meant <laughs> nothing matters <laughs> nothing matters on this podcast oh, you, meant you can get it all over the world yeah uh, well gone are the days where you know people can still hold on oh yeah. we have the best cheesesteak still i think like you know uh, something connecticut was like ranked the best pizza in the world yeah okay. it's close to new york but it's like there, a lot of a lot of people are saying that that this har har harbirth nor narbirth barbirth who cares not the point all the births cheesesteak day you can get them in Philadelphia. They're the best. You can get them anywhere. The greatest sandwich ever created. And it's Eat Extra Meat Thursday. So you should get, is, get more than one. Get I mean, more than one. Because last Friday was... Um, was Slop, Fish Friday. Sloppy Joe. Sloppy Joe. And I said it was wasted on a Friday. But yeah, not, not <clears throat> cheese steaks on a Thursday? Uh, so that's when you're supposed to be eat them. Yeah. So good. And I'm not just saying that because it's like... Oh, Regional. I love yeah. soft pretzels and water ice. No, it's just like the meat and the cheese and the Perfect. roll. Yeah. So go out today and get yourself a cheesesteak. If you don't have anywhere that's selling cheesesteaks, move, first of all. Second should, of I all, wonder if they have any deals out there. <sighs> deals? I feel like they won't do deals on this day because they want you to get it. I feel like yeah. deals are made for when you're not thinking about yeah, cheesesteaks. When guess. you're thinking about it, it's like, yeah, come on in. They might have deals this weekend. <laughs> And that's why we're pushing yeah. our secret holiday society yeah. is going to celebrate cheesesteak day that's right. on Sunday. But um, yeah, when I saw that, I was like, maybe, maybe that's maybe these holidays were made by like big, big cheesesteak, like big tobacco, because <laughs> it's like I, I, I wasn't even thinking about cheesesteak, yeah. and then now I am. Now I am. What you kind know, of cheese do you get? American. American, plain Jane. Mm-hmm. That's um. I, I don't want any nonsense. I just want it. I just want it all to meld, not melt, but meld. I want. It, I want the marriage, a, a thruple of the of the perfect roll, the um cheesesteak, uh, the 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 actual beef steak, and then the American cheese because American cheese is so mild. You're gonna say whiz. I am, and I'm gonna defend it. It's too liquidy. A lot of people. I like structure in my life. A lot of people. So outside of, of Philadelphia, it's like oh, classic cheesesteak with whiz. Mm-hmm. So much so that a lot of people in Philadelphia say, uh, if you get Wiz, you're not even a real Philadelphia. So maybe everyone doesn't know what Wiz is. Wiz is like liquid, it's melted cheese. Like um, like a cheddar based, that's like liquid, you can yeah. like sloop it on. <laughs> but yeah, so it's like, so uh, there's there's uh, degrees of Philadelphian. And I'm going to tell you how to be the top tier. Okay. First degree is... The, let, me, let me think. Let me think of furthest away. Okay. Furthest away says, I am going to order a cheesesteak like I think it should be ordered. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now we're getting closer. Okay. Now those are the people that like say, oh, I don't really know what it is, but oh, I'll get whiz. And then okay. those people get me as well. Yeah. Third are back to kind of like the, f- the furthest. They're the people that say. I get cheese steak, extra meat, American cheese, and because I'm from Philly, and that's what everyone does. Now, the most Philadelphian people, okay, and I'm talking OGs. I'm I'm, I'm at the edge of my seat. OG, <laughs> you know, like, like, like South Philly, okay, a town, who, yeah. you name it. You they, name it. They get whatever the hell they want on it. Oh, you're right. Hot peppers, 
salt, pepper, mm-hmm. oregano. Put, give me mayo. Yeah. They have nothing to prove. Yes. Be like those people. Don't yeah. don't listen to the other other ones. Yeah, that's true. In true. anything really, I'm guessing like any anybody's regional something like how you get a Chicago pizza or how you yeah. get a, a, a what's it called Seattle coffee. Yeah. The 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 truest people that I've met that they're a, they've been a firefighter in South Philly for 45 years. They get whatever the hell they want. Yeah, because on it. everybody has their own preference, and and nobody can tell them otherwise. And so I just find we wheeze wheeze. <laughs> I find wheeze to be salty. Yeah, I, I like it. And, and, and the other thing is, like, I don't, I love all the cheese. Second is provolone, actually, for me. I love provolone. But um, I like messy sandwiches in general. Okay, yeah. Like, I like, my favorite type of sandwich is like a French dip. Yeah. Just because I like to be dipping it into right. extra sauce. Like, right. And so it gives me, like, like, you can totally understand the appeal of like having the cheese and the meat in a beautiful harmony. <laughs> no, I, I want it smug. I, I want, like, to need uh ask for more napkins yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. sandwiches yeah. like or like a roast beef sandwich I or will something. eat give me that I will I'm hard pressed uh, guess what I'm gluten free and a vegetarian so I'm not eating any cheesesteaks but <laughs> I am I've had a very very long life of cheesesteaks yeah. so I know them all and I can't think of any I would turn down Cheeses? I'll take any any combo of any type of cheesesteak I'll I don't, take I don't do onions I'll do raw I'll do, do fried onions. I'll do peppers. I'll do cheesesteak hoagie. I'll do any kind of cheese. What I'll like, do what no about, cheese. Without mayo or ketchup. Ketchup, salt and pepper. Um, what was the question? Without mayo, I know some some people get mayo. I would on only it. do mayo if I did the cheesesteak hoagie. Yeah, but you um, like the cheesesteak hoagie? Yeah, I do because this gives you that extra freshness. Yeah, yeah. So so put mushrooms on it. I don't care. I like them all, but you know. If I was choosing I, hot peppers, I like hot peppers. I pick those. Um, what are those called? Banana peppers. Banana peppers. peppers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yum. I know. All right. Well, we've just used a third of the podcast talking about cheesesteaks, and that's all right. I would do the full podcast. I would do the full podcast. If only we had them. Uh, I think I might get one tonight. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um. Yeah. I could get a gluten free. You know what? They have gluten free. Jay's. Um. Jay's hoagie shop. They have gluten free cheesesteaks. But I'm a vegetarian. So I would have to get gluten-free steak roll, and then I'd have to get, I think Beyond Meat might be gluten-free. A lot of meat substitutes are have gluten in it. Yeah. So I'm a I'm a very uh, I'm a very difficult person. I when I was vegan for Lent, uh, probably three years ago, I went to this one bougie place, got a vegan cheesesteak. I don't know if they have gluten-free rolls, but so good. I don't really because I, I usually don't like vegan cheese. Yeah, I didn't even ask what was on it. Right. I didn't want to know. Right. It was so good. Moving on, guys. Um, what is up? It's cheesesteak day. I'm just I can't contain my excitement. I know. It's a Thursday. I can't contain my excitement. But I'm going to need to try just enough to explain what other day it is because it is walk through Thursday. W T H T H. Do the chicken dance. Um what, what do let's I just flap say? through Thursday? Um let's let's oh. Roll to the intro, please. <laughs> Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. Cuz walk through Wednesday just begun. What is up, guys? Sorry I was doing the chicken dance. I forgot um what we're doing for a second. Cheesesteak. But I just remembered. <laughs> we're doing walk through Thursday. How you doing? How you doing? Yeah. What is walk through Thursday? Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Cheesy. No. In a good way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guys, when it's walk through Thursday, we open up the Bible. Of course. Of course we do. Of course we open up the Bible. And when the Bible's open in all of its glory, we pick a verse. We pick a, a little verse, a little snippet. A snippet. Snapshot. You know in uh, newspapers or in magazines? Yeah. When a clipping. When you, yeah. A little clipping. Coupon. We take a little clipping out of the Bible and we just look at that. Yeah. And we try to get a deeper meaning from that. We can talk for days about overarching messages themes what would jesus do let's think about this objectively but we can also take a little bit and find meaning in that right you know what i mean yeah every part's good we're just picking one today yeah and so we're going to just break it down chop it down write it down in our hearts and uh have fun with it yeah and you know what what else finally to wrap up bible's a living word you might get something differently yeah that's okay you know why? Because it's speaking to you. You you might try to close your ears. You might try to close your eyes. It's speaking to you. 
So listen up and buckle your seatbelts because we're getting into it. We're going to go through to it sentence by sentence, line by line, word by word, syllable by syllable, letter by letter. Let's go. So today we are reading. Yeah. Uh, Nothing. It's we're not reading anything side. today. It's on your side. That's we're mine. We're quitting early it's and mine. we're getting cheesesteaks. Oh. <laughs> we are reading out of Proverbs. Yes. Your favorite. Is it? You say that about everything I ever put up. Well, Job, my favorite. Psalms, my favorite. No, I wasn't saying it because you, you read it all the time. Oh. But like Psalms are my thing. And so you can have like Proverbs. Proverbs is Job Psalms. is my thing. It is your thing, isn't it? Yeah. But Job is your thing. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. I'll take Proverbs. I'll take well, it off. See, I mean, I'll take you, it well, yeah, Words like, to live by. I, I was thinking like the Bible book. Oh, you know what we should do? This is actually be a really fun concept. And I think we might do it on Fun Friday. Okay. You know how people get so excited for the draft? Yeah. We are going to have a Bible draft. Okay. And so you're going to have oh, all of the books. That's good. And so you're going to probably pick you know, first overall. Right. As Job. I'll take Psalms. And then so forth and so forth. I like it. All we'll right. definitely do that. <sighs> Proverbs 3. And we're going to read 7 to 10. Okay. But before we read Proverbs 3, 7 to 10, we are going to... Read five and six just real quick because we know it. We talk about it all the time. I think we did it before. Yeah, we, we've probably done it yeah. before, but we always bring it up. Yeah, always. So first of all, Proverbs, you know, Solomon, David's son, Davidson. Solomon Davidson. <laughs> he, uh, I love it. He I'll be him this. tomorrow. So five and six, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. You've heard that one before. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. Yes. So this is now a continue. We, we talk about that, but what comes after that? Yeah, people just know. Sometimes they know the snapshot, but they don't know where it belongs in the puzzle. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Do not be wise in your own eyes. <laughs> is this Dr. Seuss Friday already? <laughs> Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring health to the body and nourishment to, the bo- to your bones. Honor the Lord with your wealth. With the first fruits of all your crops, then your barns will be filled to overflowing and your vats will brim over with the new wine. Heck yeah. (laughs) Party. Party, party. Party central. Um, It's National Cocktail Day. Is it? It is. Thought thought I'd throw that out there. Yeah. Um, So this is is the Proverbs that we're going to go through the whole thing and... I think it would just be a good exercise in not reading it uh, literally, you know, because if I don't, if I don't need my barn to be overflowing and my vats to be brimming over, should I be interested in this proverb? Well, yes. if you, if you, if you don't read it literally, you do. All right. Yes, you are correct. Yes. Let's get into it because I'm confused about the first, right from the start. Usually it takes me a bit to get confused. <laughs> Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. Do not be wise? That's new. No, it isn't. Do not be wise. In your own eyes. Like, don't don't think highly of yourself. Like, don't oh. think you're so... Like, don't, don't be a know-it-all or don't be confused. I thought it was confused. like, do not perceive with wisdom. I see now it makes a lot more sense. Okay. Yeah, that's good because uh, uh, people could have heard you the same, the same way you were hearing it, they were hearing it. I was like cutting it off first. Like, do not be wise, but it's not be wise in your own eyes. Mm-hmm. And um, because you that, be, you could become closed minded, you could become closed minded, and um, that uh, makes me think about my favorite Bible verse. That's my probably second overall pick, Jeremiah. You're my boy. Lee is uh, do not let the wise boast in their wisdom. Right, mighty boast in their might, strength boast in their strength. But let those who boast boast in this that they understand and know me that I am the Lord. Right. So. Is that not that? It's like, yeah. and, and you have to remember context, straight in context. We're, we're not out of context. <laughs> we're straight in context. Yes. Solomon is the man who was gifted wisdom from God. Right. And so for him to be saying. True. You can imagine li- uh, the, that queen, Queen, uh, queen Amidala. Queen Amidala um, came to him and said, you are the, you are the wisest oh, of the really? kings. And so. He had every reason to be like, I am wise. So for him to say, yeah. do not be wise in your own eyes, shows that humble. It's not like, you know, sometimes with like Job and stuff, it's like he is going through it. So right. it's like, have faith. And it's like, yeah, you probably need faith. Right. He had the wisdom. He yes. could easily be wise in his own eyes. You're right. But he's saying, do not be wise in your own eyes. 
let other people i guess is part of that is like yeah. that, that humbleness where right. people were telling him he's wise and he's like never think that you are wiser than you are right. always direct it to other yeah, people yeah a, a very famous um rabbi just died very famous okay very very famous um i think a million people were at the funeral mm. um and he was very beloved and very learned obviously um but he continued learning he, i think he was in his 90s when he died um right he the whole all of um judaism looked to him for answers and, and as well as other religions and non-religions but he he still sat there studying and studying yeah. and studying he wasn't like cuz yeah. no one would have dis- disputed if he said i'm the wisest i don't need to yes mm-hmm. exactly um fear the lord and shun evil that's the second part of 7 we've talked we've talked in depth about fear the lord mm-hmm. and um what does that mean? Or, oh, should I be afraid of him? Should I cower and hide? No, it's about a respect. It's right. about, it, it's the greatness to me. I'm not worthy. Right. And that kind of goes to the first thing. It's like, uh, and even in my Jeremiah thing, it's like, mm-hmm. what are we boasting in? The Lord and all of his might. And it's like. Yeah, it's, that really, really goes with Jeremiah. We have to remember that. Yeah. And, um, and so it's, it's. It's sort of that, like, fear of the Lord is, like, sort of, you know, like, bow, like, like respect. Like, yeah. respect. And it's, like, how can you be so wise in your eyes? And it's, like, then you start putting yourself on a pedestal. And it's, like, when really it should be, like, that relationship to God. Right. Um, and shun evil. Yeah. Obviously. Right. We're, 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 we shun evil out here. Seven's good. Done. Seven's done. Knock it out. Cross it out. <laughs> Cross it out. <laughs> This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Now that seems That's good. I well, like it that. It kind of seems crazy because what? If I don't see myself as wise, I'm going to be healthy? Yeah, and like how could just fearing the Lord and shunning evil? How is that is not it's not milk that does a body good. It's not um exercising. It's so how is this how am I to read this? Doing these things which is just don't boast and fear the Lord and shun evil. How is it bringing health to my body and nourishment to my bones? Spiritually? <laughs> Say that a lot more confidently, please. Spiritually. <laughs> Spiritually. No, but there's the, there is a certain aspect of 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 living the right way and actual physical like health, but it's also it all comes from mental and spiritual right. of like um, I'm trying to compare it to something, but but I can't. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I just, I always, I always worry like that people say, oh, well, if I do this, then I'm going to be cure- cured of cancer. If yeah. I do this, you know, I, I will no longer have my eczema. But um, <laughs> since. You ain't getting rid of that. Since we're taking um, some, you know, the things that we can't exactly take them literally. Yeah. We, we can take it literally because like you just said, you feel good on the inside. You're going to feel good on the outside regardless. If, yeah. Whatever you're going for. But also, you know, your body and bones. um you know more than just your body it's your your whole containment of your soul yes mm-hmm. around you and yesterday in the house podcast talk about ourselves being a house right and we um you know your body's a temple which you know that's from the bible yeah i did i forgot <laughs> <laughs> uh, when i looked up i'm like oh okay philippians yeah um and it's it's that idea it's you know you you're if you live your right life, you're taking care of your body as yes. part of it. Yeah, your your spiritual body and nourishment to your bones. Uh, uh, bones, I think of your structure. You know, your yes. your uh, the foundation. Firm, your foundation. Yeah. All right, cross it out. We're done. I'm not gonna. Cr- I'm not crossing out the Bible. I'm checking it off. Number Honor nine. Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your crops. Okay, I want to talk about this because. Um, Honor the Lord with your wealth. We've talked about this before as well. You know, um, if you have money or tithing, first fruits of your crops, they, they were doing it literally in the Bible, you know, yeah. so if you have this much grain, you give this much. Um, I, since, since I feel like it, um, your wealth could be the gifts that you have. Yeah. So like if you are um, honoring the Lord with your wealth, is does this mean that I am Elon Musk and I'm giving a charity uh, millions of dollars could be, but it could also just be with if it's my wealth, maybe it's my kindness, or maybe it's you oh, know, yeah. and it does so it doesn't have to be monetary wealth. And and the same thing when I hear or energy even your energy because I think anything that's um 
that is though more in the sense of you have a limited amount that's why i like oh, the word energy okay where it's like because it's like the fur it's like you only have so much energy of the day and it's very easy to say <gasps> that makes sense for the next line because yeah. the first fruits of your crops like i said okay like i'm going to give a bushel of grain to somebody but if you're saying like say you you pray in the morning or something you know like before my energy is depleted, I'm going to dedicate something to you. Yeah. Um, and a wise man, also known as Mr. T. Okay. Very devout Christian back in the day. I'm sure he still is. <laughs> but um, he was asked, but he was like, always so generous. Like, he wouldn't even, like, mm-hmm. perform if, like, there wasn't an amount of, like, underprivileged kids. Okay. They would say, bring, bring them in. But they said, why do you give so much money away? He's like, I'm never going to stop. And one of the reasons is, the more money I give to the right places, for some reason, the more money I get back. Oh, wow. So, but like I said, but I'm not going to all go into all the history with all I do, you know, because the people can always think things or whatever. Even if I just told you what I'm doing, people say, well, that's just a front. He ain't doing it, you know. But God knows. I can't, I can't lie to God. I can lie to you, but I can't lie to God. Why do you think I'm keep getting so much? Last time we talked, I didn't have this much. Now I'm getting more. And if we meet again next year, I will have more. Why? Because the Bible says, blessed be the cheerful giver. I'm thank God that I can able to give so much. That's why I get so much. They say when you give, it comes back to you, pressed down, shaking together, and running over. And it's running over. I've turned out more offers than the average guy get because I give so much. I you know, you. I can't beat God giving. And um, obviously, you know, it, 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 it's it's not saying I promise if you give five dollars to me right now, right. you'll get twenty five dollars back in return. Like that. It's 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 yeah. It's not but, a um transaction like that no and, and if you expect it to be most likely you're not doing it for the right reasons right but he was just saying in yeah. a way of like he I, I i believe he was a um very generous person before he came into yeah. wealth and money but it was, it was always, always that idea of i have it i'm going to give it yeah. and then he's like and on top of that i can't seem to give it rid of get rid of it fast enough because right everything i get is like in the bible says right. is return tenfold and yeah um it's once again it all it doesn't start from the idea that it's going to come back he would give his money away if it wasn't coming back right and same thing with if energy not everyone has money to give you have a limited amount of energy you can give it and you will be tired and you're not getting your energy back right but you're that's not why you did it you did it to yeah be selfless that, that selfless love and um he even was honoring the lord with his wealth by talking about it yeah. Because like you just said, his interview only lasted so long. And if he part of the interview was talking about that, you know, yeah. um, it, instead of Mr. T, he should be Mr. Cross. Ah, lowercase T. Lowercase T. Mr. Lowercase T. <laughs> nice. And finally, then your barns will be filled to overflowing and your vats will brim over with new wine. I don't have a barn. I could get a vat, I guess, but I don't even want wine. So what should I do with Proverbs 3.10? You should take it symbolically. Okay. Symbolically. It, like, it was sort of, we already sort of talked about this mm-hmm. in 9. and But the thing about it is I like how it's separated. Okay. This could have been just 9. Right. Why is it 9 and 10? Right. And I think that's sort of what I was going over the first thing. It, it's not... Give away your first crops in the same in the same exact verse, and your your crops. It's like oh right, nine, things will happen. Right, these verses can all be by themselves on a wall, and so right. if you were just look look at Proverbs thirty nine, what does it say? Honor the Lord with your wealth, with your first fruits of all your crops. Pauls. Right. Then your barns will be filled to overflowing, and your vats will brim over with new wine. Right. And and, and that's oh yeah, look at that new wine. You're right. New wine, and so that's the thing. It's like not like. Oh, it's just still there. It's it's the wine the wine that, that will come back to you is not there. Right. The money that you give away, it's not waiting for you. Right. You turn around. I just give five dollars. Keep handing right. it back and forth. Here's, yeah. Here's ten. <clears throat> it's this idea that you you give. Yeah. And and you will get and, and it's 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 that uh, that's that circle your of cup overfloweth. Of, your cup over overfloweth. <clears throat> you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. I think that's summed up. <laughs> yeah. But um different verse yeah so it, it, that's what it's saying it, it's and we see the you know the parallels of, of just the overflowing right yes. barns will be overflowing your cup overflows right it's always more than like i think we talked about that on psalm 23 yeah. cup overflowing 
uh, we'll be happy if it's just filled to the top. Yeah. Like it's it's overflowing. It's yeah. just like more and than that's, you can, That's kind of what Mr. T was saying. It yeah. was it was like I'm I'm gi- giving it away and I feel good and I always will. But it just seems like it's it's overflowing right. even after I, I keep trying to yeah. give give my time, my energy, my money right. to other people. Um Thank you, Hashem. Thank you, Hashem. But guys, that was it. We wa- we walked through it. We danced through it. Did. We partied through it. But I'm not going to hold you up. I know you're jonesing to get a cheesesteak. Mm. So with that being said, we'll be back tomorrow for Dr. Seuss Friday. Our final book of Quaggerbug? Yeah, the final. Um, the final yeah. book in, in the uh, Dr. Seuss and uh, Horton and the Quaggerbug and more lost stories. Right. That's it. See you then. Peace, love, prosperity. I always hate when I say peace in the sense of peace. Like I said, peace, love, and prosperity, because then I, I finish off with peace. Uh, so then it's peace, love, and prosperity, peace. Wim Hof says, all the love, all the power. All the love, all the power. <laughs>